Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Mara Gordon of Aunt Zelda's, and thank you for uh, spending some time educating us about cannabis and cancer. I want to start with a question that you kind of talked about but moved through rather quickly, which is the difference between using cannabis to deal with symptoms versus using cannabis as a ca uh, cancer treatment. So first, just to articulate a little bit more, what is the difference between those two? Okay. If you use cannabis to deal with the side effects, then you're not really wor worried so much about getting to a therapeutic dose for killing cancer cells, for example. You're more concerned with your objective being, am I nauseous now? Am I nauseous after taking the medicine? Am I able to sleep? Do I have uh, bone achy pains? That sort of thing. And just a, a, alleviating symptoms. One is about symptoms and one is about a systemic approach to healing the body or treating disease. Um, and so on the, uh, you might be doing a lot to feel better, but it may not be to a dose that's gonna be effective enough to actually kill the cancer cells. And so I think a lot of times when we're talking about cannabis as medicine, the dosing conversation is crucially important, mm -hmm. right? So what's the range of difference between those two? If somebody's dealing with symptoms, what kind of doses do you see people taking or recommending? And if we're starting to move into cancer treatment, what kind of doses are we seeing? Well, that's a very good question, Max, because it's very individualized, as I said uh, before. I can tell you that a standard um, uh, ratio, in fact, we're starting a clinical trial in January, the phase one will be commencing in San Francisco, um, on sleep, because sleep is a huge problem for people that are dealing with cancer and some of its uh, issues, is somewhere between 15 and 25 milligrams of THC, a little bit of CBD, and some of the other things in the profile of the plant themselves. The, uh, to alle alleviate pain and still be functional and still be able to go to work and do all these things, you, can, you keep your dose quite low. It might be something like between 10 milligrams of a, of a cannabinoid or maybe up to like 50 milligrams of a cannabinoid, which is not that big of a, of a range if you take it throughout the day. If you're dealing with killing cancer cells, your dose is gonna go far, far higher. You're gonna be dealing with then looking at you know, how advanced this is, the disease is, what the actual diagnosis uh, of the disease, what type it is, because there are over 200 different types of cancers. But we like to say that I would say the average patient is probably gonna be on somewhere between a total cannabinoid, when I say that, I mean the combination of the THC dominant and the CBD dominant medicines. They might be on, a, on a, an average person on somewhere around 300 milligrams, where maybe if you're looking at side effects, you're on a maximum of between 20 25 and 50 milligrams. So the question that always comes up, even in my head with all the education I have when I hear numbers like 150 milligrams and 300 milligrams is, um, are people just totally blasted all the time? That's, that's no, are people are blasted. Well, if people start out at that level, yes. Um, I have, I'll just use myself as an example, okay? I happen to be one of those, you know, we call super sensitives. It's a term that we kind of use it uh, to describe when Me we too. get a patient. Oh, right. Yeah. So when a person is super sensitive, it doesn't take much for the biphasic effect to kick in to where what you're trying to treat becomes what happens. For example, um, I might use THC for uh, because I'm not feeling so great, but if I take a little bit too much, it makes me nauseous. Instead of getting rid of the nausea, it causes the nausea. And so as a result, you need to make sure that you're, you're taking these, these doses correctly for the right person. Um, how much medicine that you take is, is individualized, but you start out very, very, very low.